All right, so we got my transaction pretty much complete here. Cover sheet's all updated. RPA is done. Now we're going to go and send that documents to the buyer to sign. So we're going to click right here. And we're going to hit the plus sign. And I'm going to go ahead and choose my uh, my documents that I'm going to attach. First thing is going to be the RPA, additional agent, market advisory. This property has a homeowner association, so I'm going to attach that advisory there. And we're going to put the COP, which is the contingency that the buyer has to close on their property. And lastly, we want to attach one other one, which is going to be this SBSA, which is the Statewide Buyer and Seller Advisory. But we want that to be last. Uh, this document is very long. And with digital ink here, it automatically fills in where they got assigned. So I don't have to go through numerous pages. So we're going to call this offer for duck wood. Duckwood here. And lastly, we want to go ahead and attach the tax record and also the MLS sheet. So those are both attached. This is ready to go. Sometimes if uh, you're working with the buyer for the very first time, you might want to put the offer price of 409.950 with $8,000 EMD. We're going to go ahead and hit next. Now we're going to go ahead and select who's involved in this party. First, I want to choose the buyer. Then I'm going to choose myself. And if it's two buyers, you'll have them here. And the way you'd want to do it, if it was two buyers, you'd want to have both the buyers be number one, unless they're using the same exact email. And you always want to make yourself last. So in this case, I am number two. And you could always drag these around in case you got it wrong. You do it that way. Now we're going to go ahead and hit next. And the key with a digital ink or DocuSign is patience. You got to be patient when you're working with this platform just because the documents take up a lot of bandwidth and it takes a little bit of time to load. So in this case, everything here is going to be um, loaded up pretty well. And there's going to be a couple of manual signatures, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Um, so in my case, everything is pre-filled. So I'm going to go down. And this date right here, we, we're going to go have to uh, correct this because the offer is actually prepared today. All right, so we went ahead and corrected the date. You have to exit out of this transaction, change the form, and delete the form and reload it if you want to just resume this. So everything else here looks good, 25 days or sooner. And we'll get everything else correct on here. 17 days on the loan. Man, I love this. For this is better than appraisal. Giving a whole package to somebody. Mm -hmm. And we got Kenny in the background on here. All the, uh, all the forms are attached. 
property ID or JCP is requested with environmental and tax. 50-50 split, first American title. And we're going to go into here. We got all stoves. This house is not occupied uh, right here by the seller, so we're not going to have to really worry about this. But if it was occupied and the TV was mounted on the wall, you definitely want to check this off. If you got an investor, you want to check off this box right here if they're not going to live inside the house. We're going to keep going down here. And we're doing 10 days, 10 days inspections right there. So we got everything filled out over here. Their brokerage information is listed. We got the buyer's inspection advisory here. And Digital Inc. is really doing a great job of making sure everything's filled in. Here we're going to have to do a manual signature. Choose the party. Grab the signature line. And grab the date line and put it over there. If you don't need the date line, just go ahead and exit out, and you would exit that out. So, MCA or the Market Conditions Advisory. We got the date. The date is correct. Buyers Homeowner Association Advisory. I'm actually filled out. We got the COP, contingency for sale of buyer's property. And I put the file number in. I finally got it. And on this form, put the property address in up top. And basically put in the title and escrow holder. And the date supposed to close. Attach that if possible as form in the form of a settlement statement and we need a manual signature here from the buyer i will x out of the date we have the mls sheet here so I want the buyer to see any notes that I see, especially if there's something funny on the back end, if there's been a um, any kind of incident at the property, we just want to disclose it right up front. And the HOA information is right here, it's $580 a year and includes the management, common areas, rec facility, and the swimming pool. And we're going to keep going down. And this is a statewide buyer and seller advisory. And this thing is very, very long. As you can see, it's sometimes 14 pages currently. And just scroll down to the bottom over here. Everything's going to be pre-filled in. And we're going to hit send. And we want to go ahead and update any notes. Here. I would uh, I would put in here uh, 25 day faster close of escrow we would put down 10 days for inspection 14 days for appraisal 17 days for loan. So 
So this is it. We're going to go ahead and hit send. Wait for it. It's been started. And the best part about it is you can come back in here and check who's accessed this file in case uh, you're waiting for somebody to get back to you and you want to confirm that they received it. It will let you know once they sign in right on here. And I'll show you how to go ahead and deliver this over to the listing agent to get your offer accepted on the next video.